Good day everyone in the news now. There's an article in Daily Maverick uh, that many people might find, find disconcerting and the headline reads that scientists sound alarm on majority of badly run medical studies. And this has been a hot topic for the past two years and even before uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, basically the gist of the article is that most of the studies that are done are bogus uh, according to the study that was done and uh, more than half of clinical trials analyzed showed a high risk of bias it was especially bad for drug and alcohol studies and um, this is written by James Stenf uh, from Ground Up and in this article it says a new research paper has signaled a crisis in medical research so it's a research paper on medical research and I quote, over 60% of trials are so method, uh, methodologically flawed, we cannot believe their results. In other words, you can't believe the results of these trials. And they say over 60%, with over 60%, that is the case. Researchers estimate that 88% of trial spending is wasted. In other words, it's money that's wasted. So a lot of money is given for people to actually go and do research and that that money is wasted at the end of the day. And I suppose many of you will agree uh, with this narrative. However, now this was a uh, official research that was done. It's in the mainstream media uh, coming to us. And it says your dodgy research design and bad statistical methodology mean that most randomized trials are a waste of time, money and effort and of no or dubious scientific value, says Stefania Perowska, Francis Sheely, Mike Clark and Sean Trewick in a news uh, paper published in the journal Trials in early June. Their paper examined the 1,659 randomized trials involving 400,000 participants that took place between May 2020 and April 2021 in 84 countries as well as in 193 multinational trials. The majority of trials, 62%, showed a high risk of bias. More than half of the trials participated participants were in uh, these high risk of bias trials. Trials where the risk of bias was unclear accounted for 30% of those reviewed, while trials with a low risk of bias, those that can be trusted, accounted for just 8% of the total. So this clearly tells you that these medical trials are not worth much based on what they have found in this trial, where they've studied over 1,600 of these trials. Now, that is a significant uh, sample to actually look at. And you can go and read the rest of this article. The link to the article will be in the description below this video as well as in the first comment. You will also find my other social media links there. And please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon so you can get notifications for future videos. And this is an extensive article. Go and read the detail, the nitty gritty detail. I think most of the people on this channel were already convinced of this position. Thank you very much for watching this video. Till the next video.